back in a minute. Okay, now, like I said, different people do different things as far as setting up a, a, a foam core wing. What, I, what I'm doing is I'm going to add a slot here for a spar. What it's going to do is going to be, uh, I'm going to come, it's going to go eight inches out each way. It'll be just on the other side of the gear block here. And um, then I personally, I've got some stranded carbon fiber. I'm going to run out across the top of that all the way out the end of the wing. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do here is I've marked, this mark here is just behind my wheel well over here. So it'll, it'll have, I have a good solid piece of foam all the way to the tip. Anyway, so I marked this. Now I'm going to take a, a, a 90 degree and I'm going to draw this line out eight inches each way. And um, once I get that done, we'll go and cut that out. Okay, how I did it first is I marked my line where I wanted to be. And I took a 90 degree and I drew out each direction. Then, like I said, I'm going to use a piece of 8 inch aircraft ply. I got the front line. I took and covered the entire bit of that front line up with that 8 inch piece. And then I came on the back side and traced. And that gave me a 8 inch wide gap. What I'll do is when I cut this, I will cut it um, just so I remove the, just the ink and that will give me, I'll move, remove the ink on the blue side and leave the ink on the black side. That'll give me a good tight fit for my spar. And what we're going to do is we're going to fit the spar and we're going to leave it out so we can sheet the whole, sheet the whole, um, sheet the wing and then come back and slide that spar in later. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, this wing on the bottom is flat enough so we can go ahead on, a, on a, a scroll saw and we can just cut it and just, just sit it in there and cut straight back on each side for that, for that um, 8 inches. And that should give us a nice straight uh, cut on this. Okay, what I've done is I've got my slot cut in this eight inches out on each side. I took a piece of eight inch aircraft ply, eighth inch, and it is three inches wide. And what I've done is it sits right down in there. I've got the center mark. It sits down in there very easily. Once we apply glue, it'll, it should just slide right in place. All right, what I'm going to do now is that we have it in here. I have eased this piece of plywood up to the edge of the table and so you can see it on the bottom you can see it on the top I've got the um, tips are both raised up to the three and a half to three and a half inches at the tip like I had discussed all right what I'm going to do now is to set our dehedral angle on this on this piece of wood and I'm going to lightly trace down here Make sure I'm touching the, the uh, skin of the um, foam. That gives us the mark there. Then I'm going to come on the underside and I'm going to mark it on the underside. And what this does, it gives us our, our width top and bottom. So when we get ready to uh, glue the wing halves together, this will be the appropriate thickness and it'll be the correct shape. So I'll just pull this out. And see, we have our dehedral angle. What I, dehedral angle. What I'll do is I'll bring this line all the way down to the center and bring this line all the way down to the center. And when we add, almost, we're ready, almost ready to sheet this wing now, once we sheet it and um, get it all done and get it all sanded out, we can, as we glue the wing halves together, we can slide slide this in on one side, glue it in place, let it sit up, and then slide the other wing down on there, and it'll it'll give us a good, strong uh, center section. All right. The only thing else I really have to do is um, we have to figure in here where we want our um, 
our servos are going to go and we need to plan on running a line for the servos. Uh, some people run the channels up front. Others, if you're really good, you can go after you get the wing sheeted, you can make a jig and you can uh, take a um, big piece of uh, copper tubing and run it in to where your servos are. Um, I, I still haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do yet. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get this, get the spar cut out and make sure it fits up again. And uh, you do want to make sure it fits even after you cut it. And then um, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, here's a quick shot of the uh, spar in place. You want to make sure you cut just below the, uh, the line you made so it fits just under the skin. Because once we sheet this, there's bound to be a little bit of glue that gets down in there. And what we'll try to do is we'll try to keep those slots clean so we can get this in there easy. But I just wanted to show you that, uh, that it get it in there and it's still, it's still raised up on the tips like it's supposed to be. So um, just be careful handling because uh, cutting those slots that does, uh, you, you are able to move this. You just need to be careful handling it. And uh, you need to take your spar and lay it off to the side. Now, what, one other thing I will do, I will drill some small holes. What you want to do is allow the glue to get to penetrate through this to each side so, so it just doesn't harden to one side. So anyway, um, we'll, we'll go back and uh, drill a couple holes through there so the glue will uh, penetrate everything. Anyway. Um, like I said, now I'm gonna go over here and figure out what I'm gonna do about the uh, where the spot the, the servo locations are gonna be and how I'm gonna run my uh, servo my servo wires.